Hey guys, today we're going to make a really easy and simple low carb keto friendly mug cake brownie and it's one of my favorites that I like to make when I'm craving something chocolate and I want to make it fat. So if you guys are ready, I'm ready to go ahead and get started. So let's dive in and make this mug cake brownie. So the first thing you want to do is take a half a teaspoon of coconut oil. Then we're going to take a tablespoon of granular sweetener. Now you can use any sweetener that you like. I happen to like the one that's monk fruit and uh, urethritol based. At this point you're going to want to melt it all together and stir it in because for me the coconut oil is still uh, a little bit on the hard side so I'm going to go ahead and pop that in the microwave. Okay, so I popped that into the microwave for about 15 to 30 seconds, just enough to get the coconut oil melted. So now I'm just going to take a little fork and stir it together just to get the granular sweetener and the coconut oil mixed together. The vanilla extract first and I'm going to add about a half a teaspoon of that into the rain can. And then we're going to go ahead and get two tablespoons of cocoa, roughly about two tablespoons of that, just for your chocolate flavor. And then we're going to take two teaspoons of coconut flour. Two teaspoons. You don't have to be that exact, but roughly two teaspoons of coconut flour there. And then next we're going to take a half a teaspoon of baking soda. I like to use the homemade kind, so half a teaspoon there. And then you're going to want to mix those dry ingredients in just until it's well combined. And don't worry about making a mess. You can splatter a little bit of powder here and there. Not really a big deal. Um, there's always clean up later anyway when you cook, right? <laughs> okay, so um, for this version, I like to add an egg. And it's just one. And stir that in. And you're going to want to mix this in pretty well. And there's just one other ingredient that I put in here. And that's some heavy cream, a teaspoon and a half of heavy cream right in there. And once you've got this well blended, you're going to pop it back into the microwave for roughly 30 to 90 seconds. Usually one minute is works for me. So, but you do want to keep an eye on it because as soon as it's up, and fluffy. You'll want to take it out. Um, I do like it a little bit on the moist side, so if that's you too and you like it a little bit less cooked, then go ahead and pop it on the lower um, timing, timer setting. All right, that looks like it's just about ready to go into the microwave. So let's go ahead and get that in. So I've got the mug cake, the mug cake brownie, actually right out of the microwave and I can tell you the container is really hot so be careful you may want to use a, uh, an oven mitt so you don't burn your hands because uh, I can tell it's really hot so you want to let that cool for a, a you know maybe a minute or so um, unless you like it really warm but it's totally done at this point and it does pop up somewhat like a souffle so let's go ahead and give it a taste as you can see it's kind of spongy like a cake I actually have another version of this that uses um, the syrup fiber sweetener so that has less of a cakey uh, texture because there isn't any egg in that one so if you're sensitive to egg or you like you know more of a fudgy type brownie go ahead and skip the egg and use a fiber sweetener otherwise it tends to be a little bit dry so you do need the fiber sweetener you know the syrup so let's go ahead and give this brownie mug cake a try mmm this is one of my favorites and within a couple minutes it's ready to go. I hope you like it, and I hope to see you again. That's it for now. Bye-bye.